guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing another bake off. We're back in the kitchen and we are doing an ancestry bake off. So, this bake off was inspired by one of our videos we filmed a little bit ago, our international bake off, where we all took a country and we had to make a traditional food from that country. Well, now we're doing that same concept, except the country has to be from one of our ancestors. So, the country that I chose was Scotland because that's dad's side of the family. And today I am going to be making traditional Scottish shortbread. So I've never made this before. I don't think I've even had shortbread before. I don't know what it's supposed to taste like. We're gonna see today. So here's the clue. What do you guys think? It's a potato. What do you think my ancestors are? So if you guessed Norway, you're correct. I know you first were thinking like Ireland, because Ireland potatoes, that oh. everybody thinks that. But no, this is Norway. I was way. thinking um, Idaho. <laughs> so I'm going to be making patat frit or fried potatoes. In the in the states, we call that French fries. And but there's a twist, and I don't know if I've ever had this before. I think I have, but not in this way. Instead of putting like your traditional ketchup or mustard on it, it's covered in mayonnaise. My nice. Which is actually something that I've had in Amsterdam before. Was it good? Um, it was weird, but not bad. So we have Scotland and Netherlands or Holland. Norway. Norway. No, it's Netherlands or Holland. Did you say Norway? I said Norway. <laughs> we don't know where his okay, is from. Okay, his is from the Netherlands or Holland. <laughs> it's, it's Holland is now kind of called the Netherlands to include other areas that for tourism. Norway's close. Okay. Uh, but yours is not that. What I'm going to be making comes from Wells, and it's called Welsh Rarebit. And to me, it kind of looks like a grilled cheese sandwich here in America, but it's not. It's kind of like pouring nacho cheese over toasted bread is what it looks like to me. Kind of weird. It kind of sounds good. <laughs> but, and then kind of crisping it up somehow under the broiler, I think, in the oven. I don't know. I've never heard of this, never made it, and we're going to try it. I'm going to get started with mine because my total time is 40 minutes long, so we got to get this started. Okay, so there's many different ways you can make shortbread. You can add in different things like candied. Uh, so it says you can add in candied ginger, citrus peels, nuts, fresh herbs, cranberries, whatever. We're just gonna do the basic one. Okay, so I already started by preheating the oven to 350. Now I brought out this little, is this an eight by eight or a nine by nine? Eight by eight, eight, by eight pan. We're gonna uh, assist to butter it. Can I just pan it up? I'm just picking it up. So what we're gonna have to do is we have to make caster sugar. I didn't know what that was before. Basically, you take your ordinary sugar and you're gonna blend it up, but you're not gonna blend it up into fine powdered sugar. So it's like the step before powdered sugar, which I have made powdered sugar in a blender before and it works. How will you know where that's done? I don't know. What's this? What's caster sugar look like? I've never heard of it. I haven't either. <laughs> Does it look different? I don't know. Okay, so I had to Google what caster sugar looks like. It's super fine sugar, but not confectioner sugar because that's powdered sugar. This is the chart that I found. It's the middle one we're trying to go for. So not like powdery, but not like grainy. But how do I know? Do you look like this? <laughs> it's just powdered sugar. Compare sugar. and contrast. <laughs> It looks like sugar. Wait, candy. where's our, where, we need our um, independent variable. Oh my, spread a little on the <laughs> independent variable. This is a science project. Okay. Okay, there's the, the regular That's sugar. That's the sugar. Do we have the powdered sugar? Yeah, there's powdered sugar up in the cupboard. This is our sugar. That it kind of looks the same. the same. Come on. What? I think I made a powdered sugar. Oh no, mom. I think that's perfect. Is it this? Yes. Is it that? It's like mixing sugar with powdered sugar. You could have just done that. You could have mixed sugar and powdered sugar. No, because then you got some that. fine and some chunky. Exactly, that's exactly what that is. Now that we finally did that, place the sugar, flour, salt, and butter in a food processor. You're done. Back in. You're done. <laughs> We're just using the blender. It's mad. Supposed to blend the butter. It's 
Smell it. There. Smoke. <laughs> Smoke. That's not good. Don't ruin the. <laughs> Look, Smoke. it got chunkles Burning in there. Gears. Um. Yeah. Okay, well, Avi's over there trying to learn how to use a blender. <laughs> blender. Okay, right there, you buy it. <coughs> yeah, mom's always wanted a new one of those, so. I'm over here peeling potatoes. As you can see, lots of potato peels. Now, I personally like french fries with the peel on them. Here in the States, the fast food chain that does that is Wendy's. And I like Wendy's fries over Burger King or McDonald's who, I don't even know if they Salty have. Salty cardboard. I don't even know if there's a real French you have or a real the potatoes. Recipes. They're peeled. The Plus, recipe said peel them. Yes, and these are old potatoes. You don't want to them on. I'm hand mixing this Ooh. with a fork. What did you just do? Ooh. I don't think we're going to eat this That's a one. nasty potato. Let me well, it's, on the inside. it's, it's hollow and we're not going to wow. use it. So. Audrey's resort to hand mixing, like I said. In a blender with a fork. Okay. Don't judge the pro. Okay, well, I think this is a good texture. Don't you? Looks pretty good like, to me, like pie crust. Okay, I think mean, that's probably bacon. what it's supposed to be. Well, inside this potato's got a smiley you or a frowny face. These it's like, potatoes do. We need to pour all that in here. With my crusty fingers. Crusty. Mm, doesn't this look really good? It just looks like a pie crust to me. This reminds me of a knockoff yeah. Biscoff cookie. Makes me think it's not gonna taste too good. <laughs> so now I gotta use my flanges. Oh. Exactly. See, it is like a pie crust. I'm gonna use my knuckles. <laughs> Mom loves it when people- This is as good as cake pop. <laughs> hey, I washed my hands. You saw me. I did. I used sweet strawberry and scoop. Truthfully, when you make bread and you don't have a mixer, you have to like just get in there and just... knead it a lot, which is kind of gross too, but with a mixer, you don't hardly have to touch it. Okay, I'm gonna use this. Okay, this is optional. I can prick the shortbread with the tines of a fork. What? Creating rows. Some people also like to run a knife between each row of fork times to make cutting the shortbread easier after it's baked. You can also prick the shortbread with a fork immediately after it's done baking while it's still warm. The holes will be more pronounced the way, this way as it has a tendency to close during baking. Okay, I'm doing it. I'm doing it, mom. Look. Don't you have to like jab it to the bottom? Just jab it there. Get it. All right, so I am making my Welsh rare bit. And apparently they like to measure everything in grams, which we don't do here. <laughs> so I pulled out my handy dandy scale thing. Well, apparently measuring by weight is it's more better, accurate yeah. than cups, but, but we are the Americanized We don't do that, okay? So this is like weird to me. We're not even on the metric system. No. no. <laughs> ah, I'm on kilograms. Come on, go back to grams. I need 250 grams of cheddar cheese. I literally have no idea. I pre-shredded this, so. 250. <laughs> did you subtract the weight of the dish? Yes. You said to zero? Nope, I did. Okay. I'm thinking this is gonna be about three cups worth for all you Americans. Next we need 70 milliliters ale or beer. We don't have ale or beer, so I brought out my apple juice. Okay, so I'm just mixing all this stuff together and then we're gonna cook it. Apple I juice and cheese? Ooh. Oh, it's gonna be good. It's supposed to have beer, but we don't have that. <laughs> um, I'm gonna throw it in here so I don't like make a gooey mess in here, and this will be easier to clean. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm thinking. 1.5 tablespoons Worcestershire. This is a correct measurement for us. Okay, so we're gonna do one and a half tablespoons. I feel like this is what gives your um, grilled cheese sandwich like the good flavoring. Try these fries. Mm. They're hot, but I put a different seasoning on. Tell me if you like the seasoning. Oh, oh. it's like <laughs> steak. Mm -hmm. It's oh. like a steak seasoning. Now we're just going to melt this. Then I'm gonna toast four slices of bread, pour this mixture over the top of the bread, bake it under the broiler until it's all gooey, cheesy. The cheese is starting to crisp up and then it's done. Okay, my last set of fries are about ready to come out. Note to self, this is really, really hot oil. You see this little burn on the tip of my finger? Don't stick your finger in the oil. It's no bueno, not good. All right, my shortbread should be done. So let's see what it looks like. All right. 
reverse tank? You guys saw the fried or did? Yeah, I don't know. Oh. Interesting. Oh, yeah, it's soft. Is it supposed to be soft or crunchy? It might get hard as it cools down. Okay. And then Katie. So I have homemade um, honey wheat sourdough bread, and that's sandwich style. Okay. Um, that I am toasting in the toaster Over four here. slices. Mm -hmm. And then I'm gonna put my curdled cheese on it. It's not looking really good right now. Let's not call it curdled, let's call it. <laughs> it doesn't look curdled. It's different. Curdled and cheese doesn't necessarily It looks really, sound really gross because it's been waiting to go, like I was waiting for Audrey to get done with the oven so I didn't have to heat another. Anyway, I'm gonna put this on and then put it under the broiler and melt it and hopefully crisp it up. Oh, so it's off the heat, so it's starting to solidify. Yeah, I think it is. Here are the finished products. Dun dun dun. dun. Yeah, sure this looking is cheese and that's super good. Nice sauce. Okay, so we brought in the professional palate tasters over here. See, so I have the most quality taste buds, of course. <laughs> so this comes all the way from Wells. It's called Welsh. Rare bit. Uh, burnt toast and some mystery cheese. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Burn! This comes from the country of our ancestors, Scotland. This is Scottish shortbread. What's that? You'll see. <laughs> and this needs no explanation. I think this is gonna win. As you can see, I already have the favor of the judges. Patat frites, uh, which is from the Netherlands. It's a fancy way of saying French fries. They're really good. <laughs> French fries with mayonnaise. You have to eat the mayonnaise. Oh, yes. no, I don't want the mayonnaise. Yeah, you, you have, have to. to. That's, That's the whole point. Like That's the whole reason why no. you try it. What they do though in the Netherlands is instead of doing it this way, they put the fries in like a paper container. Paper it, it, it looks like a triangle kind of that you hold. Like a cone. Like a, yeah, like an ice cream cone. And then they pour the mayo on top. So as you're walking the streets, use your fingers and get them all mayonnaised up and eat the fries. Audrey's the only one that's been there. I oh, have, I've had this in person. So we'll see if yours tastes just like Amsterdam's fries. I gotta try. That's a lot of mayonnaise. They actually don't taste bad. <laughs> that's a lot of mayonnaise. Not bad. Fries. Mm. Mayonnaise ruins the fries. It, it gives it a different flavor, but it's, it's all it's right. It's kind of like having a sandwich. It's actually, yeah. It's not bad. It's just different. Like I mean, it, we yeah. use it in potato salad. Uh -huh. so. We're just not used to having this as a dip for fries. Yeah. It's different. But it's not bad. It's good. Okay. Thumbs up. Let's try it. Fries tonight. are good with mayonnaise. It's a <laughs> Welsh rare bit. Let's try our grilled cheese. Well, I get this one. <laughs> <laughs> Is it a good cheese? Yes. Yeah. Alright, I guess I get a big bad boy. Well, sure Hot. Oh. Oh. <laughs> One second. I like it. <laughs> do you like it too? He wants some. What do you think? Pretty That's good. good. I like it's it. It's good. Anything with cheese is good. It's true. All right, here's the shortbread. Don't eat it until everyone has one. Hot! It's freshly baked. Okay, everyone ready for their shortbread? I think I made it a little too late. You're probably supposed to let them cool mm -hmm. down, shortbread. typically. And they say they age better by time. Hot. That tastes like the shortbread cookies. Does it? Yeah. Yeah? I had to take a bite. They do. I've never had them hot before, but if you have a hot <laughs> shortbread cookie, that's what this tastes like. Yeah. Oh, it's I mean, like a sugar cookie. Yeah. I don't like sugar cookies. <laughs> <laughs> it is kind of like a sugar cookie, but if it had cooled down and sat, it is just like the... My dad's very soft and crumbly. Put a little bit of lemon like zest on it and you got a lemon oh. cookie. Yeah. <laughs> it has a good base, so if you want to add any other stuff to it, easy. I'm going to give this one a thumbs up. Oh, I like it. I don't like it. <laughs> it's good. So what were your guys' favorite? The this. fries. <laughs> the fries. Oh my. It was the presentation, the taste, the flavor, everything, right? Yep. But they're not dipping it in the mayonnaise. I am. Are you? Okay. Well, let us know in the comments again if you are from any of these countries that we made a dish from um, or uh, what your ancestors' traditional dish would have been. Yeah. So. And maybe we'll make it next time. Yeah. Sometime.
kind of fun to try. This is probably maybe what they ate. <laughs> but thank you guys so much for watching this week's Bake Off. If you guys liked it, give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, and we'll see y'all next time. Bye. Bye.